everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome back to Shalama Craft Garden and Kitchen video. I am here to share with you guys what I've been working on and I will try, try, try to do a video. Okay? I will try to do a video for you guys and show you guys how I made it. So I'm going to share with you guys what I've been working on. These is what I've been working on. Okay. So you guys want to know what I made these out of? Beautiful, isn't it? Look at these. They are beautiful. And they are pockets. Can you guys give me a second? I have to change my um, eye because the other one is too strong for my eyes, so I have to put on my other one. And um, I have to clean it. Get some of this cleaning thing solution. And I'll show you guys what I've been up to. And we're gonna do a video. Okay. So no, oh yeah, I could see. Okay, so you guys probably wonder why, what, how I made these, and they made out of what? These are pockets for journals, as you could see. They're pockets for journals, and I am going to share with you guys what I use to make these pockets, and we'll try to make one. I use paper towel roll. Can you tell these are paper towel roll? Can you even tell that these are paper towel roll? So yeah, I've been working in the room. Yesterday I started it. So I when my daughter wanted to go get her nails done, so I went and she paid for mine. She said, Mom, can you get yours done too? Because we always do like a mother-daughter thing. We go get our nail done together, eyebrows, and we had this thing going on with me and my daughter. My older daughter lives in New Jersey, so I don't get to do much with her. But my little daughter, we get to spend a lot of time together because my older daughter, she's working and um, she cannot get time off out of, off of her job. So we went yesterday, I had to leave this halfway, and I came home, we came home about 4, 4.30, 5 o'clock. My husband dropped us off and he went and picked us up back. So we had a little bit time and we went to a dollar store, but I'll show you guys in a different video what we got, get, what we bought from the dollar store that she bought for me. So, um, these made out of paper towel rolled my pockets for junk journaling. And, um, I will show you guys, I'll try to show you guys how I made mine. And these lamps, all these lamps came out of, um, of a, a furniture book. We you Last year, we um, we owned a furniture store for almost I don't know how long. My husband been in business, and when we married, when I married him, uh, we were still in business. And last year, my our store, we were um, between me, my husband, and my father-in-law. We still had the store. So um, last year, was it last year? No, the year we. The year before, we lost everything. My um, everything we invest, every penny we put into that store is all gone. It burned down to the ground. But I got. I'll show you guys the book that I got these the all these image out of. And I was so happy that I found it because. I'll do a, a different video and show you guys. This is the book that I got the image from. We used to order furniture from this company. And um, this is the book that I got the image from. I'll show you. 
because you can see I cut out a bunch of image and they have some beautiful lamps in here. So I decided to go for a lamp envelope. So they got a beautiful, they have a lot of beautiful stuff like you, and I will do another video and you can see all the stuff they got in here is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I have a lot of these books, so we'll do it in a different video. So this is the book I got all my lambs out of, okay? So yeah, we were we were in business once. And we did pretty good until it burned to the ground and we lost everything. So I am going to put these to the side. I will move my um blanket and I'll put my working blanket on here and I am going to try to make one of these and show you guys how I made these and how I put it together so I'll move my clean blanket to the side these are the kid my daughter don't like pink anymore so I have a lot of pink stuff pink blanket pill pink pillowcases pink whatever now she doesn't like purple she want to go for a different color so Every time she wants to change her room, I got different colors of sheets and pillowcases to work with. I have myself this, but I have to put my working sheet down first. And I am going to flip my working sheet over because I got a few things over here. This is when I was painting my, um, my garbage bag. <clears throat> I have a video I have to put up. So I'll flip this to the other side. So we'll work with a clean side. I want this to get as much paint and ink and whatever else on it so I could cut it up. To use for a journal cover is a cotton uh, piece of, it's a small cotton um, tablecloth. So, okay, what I did, I went ahead, I cut myself a piece. I put in the pants, I put, um, I have an old book that I take apart and I covered it already. So we're going to use this as a front part. So I already got this ready. And all I did is you glue it, you match pad it to the, um, the paper towel. All you do is just you smush this down. And I use my, I call this a squeegee. I don't know, my kids got me this. And I just go like that and smush them down. And I have a lot of these so what I do I take two of them and I just clamp it like that and let it you know flatten out and let it stay flat for a while so that's what I did then now what are we gonna do I have ev almost everything ready but I'm still gonna show you guys how I I punched out my um scallop punch I have a circle I have two pieces for the um, for the back and the front like that so because I'm gonna cover this up we got two pieces for that this over here is going to go in the bottom over here okay so we get that I got my um, front part with the raggedy edge tore I have my um my tag my tag what do you call it name tag I don't know what you call this but I made these and on these I haven't put a word yet word on it yet okay and to have that shiny looking um after I done everything I take some of this and I put it on top of it so it gives it a more shiner looking and more you know sturdy look is sturdy is all in place so I have that I have me a little bold and I don't need the brush and I don't need this right now so first we um I am going to show you guys how I put this all I did is cut a, a white part I have a piece of black and I put it because I want it looks like you know like an then I could put a name whatever name I want to name them because I could send it to different people when I do swap and then I take the other white piece and I glue it on all I do is glue it on the three pieces 
and that's what I got okay so this is already done I have my sharpie because I use the sharpie to go around the edges because I don't have the black whatever thing they have to outline it so I use a black sharpie so I got that and these are all my scraps from my scrap box I got my lamp cut out my image cut out from the same book that I show you guys so that's ready sorry <clears throat> it's raining 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 crazy out there I have my um, glue it's in this bottle over here that's the glue I'm gonna be using I have my ink pad that's the ink I am going to be using can you guys see that that's the ink I am going to be using okay I have my dabber tool that I made with um, a bottle cap, a piece of felt, and uh, um, what do you call those things? Oh my god. Cotton ball. That's what I was looking for. So let's put this together and um, roll with it. So when you, when you put this together... You don't put this all the way down like that. No. You put it like about, about there. About there. You see where that is? About there. And then you glue here. I'll show you guys what I'm going to be doing. Okay? Uh, sh I should zoom in a little bit more. Okay. I am going to put some glue right here, okay, and this is going to go like that. So let's glue that. We're going to put some glue right here on the edge. We're going to lay this down there. We're going to lay them down and hold them for a minute, a sec, not a minute. Let, it, let the tacky glue just hold there. You see how far I got that bent over? Can you guys see that? Okay. So I am going to smush this until it's thick. And I think it holds. I am going to put some glue over here. All the way. Over here. All the way. And some glue across. And we are going to let this seal up. Okay, we're waiting for this to hold because it's tacky glue. I love this tacky glue. I have, I, I'm packing a box for my daughter and she's going to be starting crafting. So I am sending her a lot of stuff. So I gave her a big bottle of glue. I gave her all kind of stuff so she could start crafting too. She said, mom, can you send me some? I was like, okay, I'll put a box together for you. So that's what I've been doing, swap, I've been mailing out stuff, I've been making stuff, and I've been busy. So I love working, my husband let me work in my craft room because I do not, do not go anywhere. I don't have no friends to come over and hang out, I don't have no friends that I could go hang out with. And I liked it that way, you know. I liked it that way. I have um, some friends from um, the group, um, not the group. I have some friends that I made when I when we are doing swap and then um, we get talking and um, I made a few online friends. And look what I did. Can you guys see in there all the way? You see, I create a longer pocket all the way down. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I have to rub this down a little bit more. We are going to put this, I'm trying to figure, okay, it goes this way. I am, no, that doesn't go first. This goes first. This is going to be the end of it. Let me just trim this a little bit. We are going to put some glue. And we are going to put that in there. We're going to make sure we get it in there. And that's all you do to the 
the end of it that makes it you make it like look like really neat and it looks really pretty too you don't want to have that raggedy edge over there i'll just trim this down a little bit too we'll add some glue i got a few more ideas in my head so i'll work on those once i finish with this show you guys how i work on these and we'll, I'm going to work on some other stuff that I got plans for. And uh, come, when I come back with another video. Well, my other video, I will show you guys all the books that we got, that I got when we, oh, when we used to own the uh, furniture store. We had a big furniture store. So, um... We do know how the fire starts, so I just don't want to get into it. It breaks my heart that we lost every, everything. And now we're getting back on our feet. And my husband and his father is trying to get into a different business than furniture store business. So we're getting back on our feet and I'm happy. You know, we struggled for almost two years. We struggle. We struggle for almost two years. Every penny that we, uh, like I said, every penny we earned was all gone and disappeared because of the fire. Because that was my husband's income and my income, you know. Then my husband, after that, then he, my husband never, ha he was in the army. He served um, 20... 28 years I think he served 28 years in the military so yeah he served 28 years in the military and him and his dad work and work and they keep the business going and whatnot and then I become I became a part of the family and we got married and then I was part of the part of the business so so we're going to glue this. I am going to do my ink afterwards. So bear with me. My princess over there hitting my beads around. So I don't know what her plan is. I am just gluing down. Gluing down. And then we'll ink afterward. No. Actually, I might put this one. No, you gotta go on the top like so. And I'm gluing it upside down too. And all these I'm using, all the paper that I'm using is recycled paper towel. You you guys know it's paper towel is recycled. Um, these are scrap and book pages um, that I take apart. I took apart to use the cover for a journal. And um, all these little the circle is from my scrap and the uh, uh, scallop is from my scrap. These are all from my scrap. Okay, we're going to, um, I am going to ink this now and then we'll do the rest. So let me get inking. So we don't need that right now. So this is what I'm going to do right now. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I don't want you to be uh, out of frame. I just want this to stick. And this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to ink. I'm pretty sure most of you know how to use a big book page and cover and make like you could do an end up underpants whatever you call that thing cover the cardboard and do all of that stuff but i like to do this is how i uh, this is my way of making it i i should say i should say this is my way of making things i think i like everybody has their own way their own you know style you know, you have to love people that has their own create. They create their own way and that's so beautiful. 
it is so beautiful to watch other people the things that they do you know and a lot of people inspire you so you could do the same thing too think outside the box and i buy a few stuff but most of my stuff come from the drift store the goodwill or magazine and when my husband don't when he used a printer and paper he doesn't use i saved them i saved them that's how i get some of my paper but when i need a paper and i want to do a project i just go buy uh you know some i don't say i don't buy um craft paper but yeah i do buy craft paper i do okay we got that this one here all you do just take the ink and if you want to make it you know like so then later on whatever words i want to put on there to send out in my happy mail or not my happy mail in my swap or if i want to send something to someone then i put the words that i wanted to say on that i'm not going to put words right now so this goes afterward we're going to put this lamp about there okay so we'll glue this down with my um tacky glue i am going to put some tacky glue And we'll put this lamp like so and I'm gonna give it a little bit of rub so the tacky glue just sticks on there before I put that we are going to let me clean this up because it does makes it clogged up okay let's get that down there guys it's very easy and simple all you gotta do put the end of pants on it and um make it the way you guys think you're gonna like it you know this is an idea i came up with and i probably there's out of video how to use paper towel but and what i'm gonna do now i am going to take my sharpie and i hope you guys can see me I am going to go around my scallop my husband went to go visit his dad and get the um, chicken food and pick my daughter up I've been all day down here my husband cleaned up clean up the kitchen make sure the kids got to school and came back home and he was doing some work for the business that they're st gonna start and paperwork and whatnot so yeah that's what he was doing and as i'm going around my lamp i'm outlining my lamp with black sharpie and as you can see it's looking good it's looking good i am gonna go around my circle too because i like the look of it that looks really good right there let's give a little bit more over there and what i want to do i want to make over here a little bit darker I want to do it a little bit darker because I don't like it that light. That looks much better now. Okay, 
that's good now i am going to glue this on here and i am putting glue around the edges we are going to put this like about so you don't want to hide the I don't want to hide the lamp because I love the lamps. I am so happy with my um, projects, the things that I made. And um, I have to rub this down a little bit. Let's use this. A little bit of pressure so it sticks. That's all I'm doing. So we got that. We're done with this with the tacky glue not this tacky glue we finished with the marker put that back we finished with that put those aside we don't need all that now i am going to show you guys i am going to glaze it i am going to glaze this over here so we get this nice beautiful look okay um i have to get longer paper to put in here Where is the one that I got a glaze? Oh, this one. I need my paint paintbrush. What did I? Oh, I got my paintbrush over here. My rag. Clean my paintbrushes out. We are going to pour some of this on there. It's not gonna come on that way because I think the cap, the top, the little hole is all black top. Yeah. I am going to get that little bit out of there and we're going to put some glaze and I'm going to glaze it twice okay guys how easy and simple is that I am just pouring some on the brush and glaze it so that's my second coat of glazing it. We'll let this dry. It it won't take that long to dry. But that's going to seal everything in. And I have myself a beautiful envelope. That's made out of um, paper towel roll. I have to clean all these because if you don't clean them, they get stuck. And then it's like really hard to open. So I got to put all those back. So there you go, guys. My easy, easy and simple. All you got to do. Oh, here's the book that I keep taking pieces from. You take a piece of the um, book that you, this one is pretty brown, I'm getting browned. And you take a page. What I did, I take a page. And then I went around my um, project. Then I ripped, I take all these off, the white part. I used, actually I use my ruler. I should show you guys how I, let me get a better page. Let's do this one. And I use the ruler and I go around and I take these off like so. And then what I left it with this beautiful pieces and then I went and I wrapped you take your um, match pad you glue that down and you glue it down like so and then you come over on the other side like a little bit and you glue that or you could glue the whole thing down it won't hurt it gives you a little bit more um, texture to it that's all I did for for covering it up and um, they came out beautiful and actually I am going to use that piece so that's the book I used and um, that's how easy and simple it is to make these beautiful beautiful I gotta let that dry it's uh it's sticky 
so guys if you like my paper towel envelope oh my god I'm making more noise oh my goodness sorry but I'm just trying to move something and the weather is killing me oh the weather this weather the winter time my body hurts really really bad so yeah so guys sorry about that the distraction and whatnot that's how easy it is to make these beautiful beautiful envelope pocket beautiful beautiful envelope pocket and some of these is gonna go out with my swap i'm gonna make some more but different one different different things out of those books out of that same maybe the same book or maybe different book so that's how you make a paper towel roll envelope and they're gorgeous i love these lamps they look really beautiful really really beautiful so whenever i'm ready for um send it out then i'll put a word or something on here and um, then I'll send it out because I don't know what I want to put on it yet. I don't know what words I want to put on those yet. So there you go, guys. My paper towel roll envelope. I hope you give it a try. I hope you um, please like this video, share this video, and please subscribe to my channel and um i will come up with a few more let me zoom out so you guys can see a little bit more so um guys i forgot what i was gonna say if you guys like what i done with my paper towel roll and you like the idea please like share and subscribe thank you guys for watching have a great day. May have a great day and I hope you are all having a wonderful day in your craft room. Go in your craft room and craft, guys. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.